Hi guys. I showed you I picked this up in the charity shop for £1.99. It's a Chico. It says drift on the side. It's got one powered wheel. Looks like it's got a speaker there, so I expect it makes noises. But these wheels just freewheel. So I'm not sure what it does. In fact, that is the only reason I bought it, just to find out what it does. I guess the logical thing will be to put some batteries in it and see if it actually works. Okay. They look just a little bit uh, corroded. Terminals look okay. So we'll go for some cheap Poundland batteries. Okay, nothing much happened then. some different transmitters. I'm going to have to take it apart, aren't I? I've got one infrared controller handy. Right, we'll take it apart then, see what, what it does. There's no other buttons on it, is there? Right, so what have we got? An aerial. It is radio controlled. Okay. What frequency? Well, just looking in there, we've got a motor there that drives, it looks like this whole thing should turn round, yeah. So that's how it turns, steers. Chip's got 2013. 0814. I'm guessing this is the sound chip. Yeah, I can see underneath there. Oh, I look under there. I can see the receiver chip under there, I think. I'm going to have to go and get a load more of my transmitters and see if any of them talk to it. Right, that track there makes contact with that. And that's what I'd say that's what turns it around, that's what tells it what position it's in. I don't see anything on there that's conveniently telling me. 27 megahertz, 40 megahertz, or anything like that. I should think that's the receiver chip in that black blob there.
Okay, I'll go and get uh, some more transmitters. That looks like a nice little H bridge there, four transistors to drive that motor. Well guys, I'm not going to bore you showing you while I go through all the different transmitters that I've got, but I found one that works and I'm amazed because I've got a couple of these and they've never worked for any car that I've tried them on and yet steering and forwards and backwards So, I'll put the cover back on and we can try it out. Just before I put the cover back on, I'll just demonstrate that steering again, because it is a novelty idea. We've got motor there facing this way. It's got a worm gear on it. And we usually use worm gears when we want a low rotation speed and lots of power. That drives a gear that's just there that drives a large toothed circular bit that turns the whole drive motor. I don't know if we can zoom in a little bit. Right, we can just see the end of the worm gear. It'd be better if we were in focus, wouldn't it? And then the, the drive gear, it's got a reduction system going on down there to drive the main wheel. A supplementary bit of video to add to the end of the main video. In the main video I said the sound effects didn't work and I assumed you needed a different controller for it. I was just going to put this in the bag for the next charity shop. I thought I'd just give it another try and I found the sound effects do work. It was probably just too noisy, I didn't notice it. So if we go in reverse, which is forwards on this controller, We've got the reversing beeper. If we go forwards, we've got wheel spin. And if we go left, we've got tire squeal. And if we go right, We've got tire squeal. So the sound effects do work. So it's a fully working toy car, even though we don't have the right controller. 